We're about to deliver some good news because yes, it's time for us to dive into the world of entertainment and just celebrate our celebrities and perhaps mourn with them if we need to mourn with them. We're just here to bring you it's all of the news. Maybe good news. news. Is it good news? news? Yes, yeah. for Monday. Oh, yeah. What do you got for us first, bro? Um, let's start with a young South African musician who is going to be a global sensation. She is blowing up, and of course, with her hit uh, "Getting Late," you might know Tyler as. I think a TikTok superstar who seems to be transcending on every yeah. level. So she is dominating Spotify right now, uh, and that's the global Spotify chant. Currently sitting at number 65. That's uh, above Zah and uh, Zaza, Lil Baby. Yes. Like, you don't understand what it is for an artist who isn't established to have this kind of traction. Does it come through the TikTok kind of connection? Yes, that is a part of it, but she is making waves in conventional yeah. music now on a different level. She is going to be a superstar. She is, and I love the if fact that, already, that obviously in of. recent sort of like, let's call it concerns about pronunciation, I loved how South Africa got behind her. Yeah, for It was sure. just showing you how many people, doesn't matter what generation, culture you were in, South Africa is behind her, and I absolutely love that. And she downplayed it, which was brilliant. She didn't kind of take, she took it on the chin brilliantly, and yeah. whoever's helping her with her PR, did really good with that, but the fact <laughs> yeah. that she just got to step out of the way and everyone else just pulled in there. Absolutely love it. Yeah. Um, and of course, Water, um, which has a great tutorial online as well. Um, absolutely massive tune, over 2 million views in just Phew. two days. That is history being made right there. Um, and she simply responded in the best way possible by saying this is for South Africa. For the men, so go, for go. our people, and I'm absolutely loving that. Something to celebrate and something for us to all get behind. And here's something else that I think a lot of us are going to get an opportunity to celebrate. GE -E performing in South Africa. Oh, yes. This New Year's Eve global sensation GE -E will perform in South Africa for the first time, electrifying the stage at Ignite Secret of summer, which Ooh. is the nation's iconic New Year's celebration. So, as we were talking about three months till the end of the year, this might be something you want to add to your list now with that chart-topping hit such as Me, Myself and I and No Limit. Jeezy is set to lead a night that will be etched in memory as we usher in 2020. We're going to get him on the show. Mm. Oh, we're going to get him on. No, we oh, will. I'm, I, I've seen it. It's I've seen it in the stars. <laughs> He's going to be here. It's going to be a good year. It's obviously something you want to add to your list. So if you don't have any plans, then you definitely want to get it going. It's the 31st of December. It takes place at the UCT Sports Grounds in Cape Town. So, yeah, make your New Year's a Cape Town affair. Come celebrate with us in GEZ. And let's just celebrate the absolute magic that this year has become already. And it's what, three months left. I still can't believe it. It's, it's going to end on a high. Yeah, it's gonna definitely end is. on a high. Easy to bring it oh, through. Well, listen, <laughs> there's another TikTok sensation, Kanisa Jaseni, who got the nod from Alicia Keys herself. Wow. Wow. Now, she did a cover of Alicia Keys' Unthinkable, uh, and a year later, the Grammy Award singer took to TikTok to duet the song with oh, her. Good. Now, Kanisa wow. rose to fame when she was retrenched from her job due to COVID-19. She decided to take TikTok and pursue her career as a social media star and musician, and she really has made it incredible. Oh, and she's got plans to wow. take her career globally. But if you're not sure what video we are talking about, take a look at this. Please. Let's go. Mm. 
you can see how much that means to Alicia in that moment. Yes. It's not just the flow goes both ways. You know what I'm saying? That is incredible. What a stamp of approval, right? Wow, yeah, oh, man. And, and just you think of how many other young musicians are going to tap into that energy. I love it. Uh, now, what would David say? Um, <laughs> it's something I do ask myself all the time. Um, and that's exactly what everyone wanted to know as the Beckhams break their silence about those affair rumours. So I said it wrong. I was said in 2014 these rumours first uh, emerged, but it was actually 2004. And um, the, there were a huge amount of allegations that have come out over the years when it comes to this particular English football star. But he had those, um, the claims of that affair with Rebecca, the famous Rebecca, who alleged that she had had a relationship with him while he was playing for Real Madrid at the time. And David, who was hit with allegations of affairs with other women as well, described the claims as ludicrous at the time. But now in their brand new Netflix documentary, they've obviously had to dig up and relive a whole lot of this. And the director, Fisher Stevens, uh, asks the 48-year-old Beckham the multiple tabloid stories broke at the time. How did you deal with that? And Beckham replied, there were some horrible stories that were difficult to deal with, that it was the first time that he and Victoria had been put under that kind of pressure in their marriage. And he went on to say it felt like the world was against us and there's this thing we were uh, against each other or they were against each other, but um, he is being completely honest. You know that up until that Madrid time, sometimes like it felt like everybody was against them, but they were together. They were connected and we had each other. I don't think people realize just how hectic it is, how many global sporting events England have lost because of the tabloids <laughs> coming after their superstars in the critical moments. And it sounds like I'm yeah. grinding a, an ax here, but this is the bottom line. Someone like a David Beckham, we've seen it with Prince Harry, with the, the English press is different. It's and it different. is so hectic. And there is a reason why the glory couple from the UK had to move out of the UK to enjoy their celebrity status because that doesn't exist in the UK. So, yeah. the, and, and look what the US have gotten as a result. They've got a messy as, <laughs> as a result as well. Incredible stuff. But that's what got our um, attention out of the entertainment news uh, today. If there's anything that we've missed, we'd love to hear from you. Let us know on our social media platforms what stories, what major happenings we need to be tracking, especially online.